Welcome to Trish One on One, where confidence in individuality is beautiful. Hi everyone, it's your girl Trish. Welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time, a special welcome to you. Today, we're gonna be diving into part two, the tutorial on how I reachieved my volume after severely bleaching and damaging my hair. So without further delay, let's get into it. As I mentioned in part one that I bleached my hair and it was severely damaged as you can see so what I did I got afro blonde hair and I'm going to be using my 0 0.05 mm crushing needle to merge it into my hair so I take out small sections and what I'm going to be doing is searching for one of the ones that I have not done yet so you could see the difference there is one it's very thin from the mid shaft going down as you can see now you're gonna look between the mid shaft and the top where I've been retwisting you'll see the thinness um, retwisting you can see that my roots are swollen and that's the desired look that I'm going for so I take a thin piece of hair it looks a lot in the video but it's actually not and I spread it out and I start wrapping it around my hair from where it's thin going down to the end of the hair after i finish wrapping i'm going to be taking away any excess hair that's left as you can see finish wrapping it in and then i'm going to use my crushing needle to merge it with my hair what i also do is I go along the shaft and take off a lot of hair because I don't want it to be too heavy. Then I palm roll it together and bring the excess hair up to the top nearest to my roots as near as I can get it but not where the parts of where I'm retwisting if that makes sense. And I start to use my crushing needle to merge it in. Now, I learned the hard way that you have to be careful while doing this because the crushing needle is so small. There's been a few times that I've literally jabbed into my finger and I've gotten so many cuts during this process until I got extremely good at it. But what I had to do while I was learning how to do it, I got a finger caught and I wrapped the finger caught with duct tape and that was what was protecting my finger. I just realized because I think I saw it on Instagram, they actually sell something that's designed for people who do the instant locks. Um, to use to protect their fingers so I will be getting that now what I do is I continue to do this method until um, the transition between my hair and the extension is seamless and it's undetectable after which I go up and down to make sure there are no bumps and I palm roll it and that's how I got it done ta-da so that's what I did and it works for me and I cannot emphasize this anymore that this journey is your journey and it's for you to dictate not anyone else. The most important thing is that when you wake up in the morning you feel good. Um, looking at your hair or yourself makes you happy. Other than that it's not worth it. So for me I finally found something that makes me feel way better and now with the retwisting of my roots um and i am for sure gonna only try to color once a year and i because it's now i'm um, virgin i won't have to bleach it that much one application will do for my roots so then i won't have that thinning anymore but that's pretty much it let me show you the back profile. That is what it looks like back there. And I love it. So, remember that confidence in individuality is beautiful. Be confident in who you are as an individual. Until next time. With Trish, one-on-one. -on -one.